And tonight we are digging deeper as another officer involved shooting took place in Rockford, the seventh since 2021. Let's take a look back at where and when these took place. First, on April 10th and 11th, Winnebago County Sheriff's Office had two officer involved shootings on back to back days. Deputies responded to a call on Bellworth Drive where a man was shot and killed and a deputy was hurt. The next day, an officer shot a 19 year old man on Illinois Avenue. In May of 2022, Bradley James Tompkins was inside the Rockford Casino before exiting into the parking lot where he was met by three officers after putting the gun to his head, firing a shot into the air and then pointing the gun at the officers. Tompkins was shot and later died. And on September 1st, Rockford officer pol police officer Alexander Stone used deadly force against Peter Yeager after a domestic incident on Linden Road. And September 24th, Rockford police responded to St. Anne's Way for a domestic disturbance. A 19-year-old was shot and killed after stealing his grandmother's car and refusing to put down knives when encountering police. In cases of officer involved shootings like these, the Winnebago Boone County Integrity Task Force has been activated to review the police shooting. The task force collects numerous pieces of evidence in its review and turns over its findings to the appropriate state's attorney. Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara responding to the incident tonight with this statement saying in part, quote, I want you to know I take every use of force incident very seriously and will monitor the task force's progress and encourage public safe transportation, rather transparency for the state led investigation, end quote. Also urging the public to withhold from judgment until all facts on the incident are known. In 2021, WREX combed through its archives since the Winnebago Boone Integrity Task Force was created and found just over 20 cases where the task force was brought in. We cannot find an instance of when an officer was found unjustified in his or her actions. 13 News reached out to the Winnebago County State's Attorney Office at the time to clarify these findings. And Hanley then explained since 2009, there have not been any criminal charges brought against an officer subject to Winnebago Boone Integrity Task Force investigation. And that result continues to this day. 13 News will continue to follow this developing story and will bring you all the latest details both on air and online.